In the 1980s, a software bug in a radiation machine led to several patients being overdosed, and some didn't survive. The bug came from a code change that no one properly tested. This wasn't just a mistake, it was a wake-up call to the entire industry. And it all comes down to one thing, regression testing. So, what is regression testing? So at its core, regression testing ensures that recent code changes haven't adversely affected existing functionality. Think of it as a safety net that catches unintended side effects before they reach your end users. Neglecting regression testing can lead to severe consequences, from minor glitches to major defects like the one I mentioned at the start of this video. Regularly rerunning your test cases help identify and address issues early, saving time and resources in the long run. And there are a ton of various techniques in regression testing that I'll have a link for down below, but here's where many testers I talk to get it wrong. They assume that for every change in their code base, they should run their entire test suite, even if the code change has nothing to do with the tests they might be running. This only adds noise and confusion in my experience. And that's why I highly recommend you focus on risk before you randomly just stop running tests for the sake of running tests. Risk-based regression testing is all about prioritizing your test efforts based on the potential impact and likelihood of a failure in specific areas of your application. Instead of testing everything equally, you should focus on the parts of your system that are the most critical to the business or most likely to break or the money areas of your application. And here's how it works. Identify high-risk areas. Start by analyzing which features or functionality are most critical to your business. For example, in an e-commerce platform, the checkout process would be a high-risk area because any failure there directly impacts revenue. Assess likelihood of failure. Consider factors like recent code changes, historical defect data, and complexity of the code. Areas with frequent changes or a history of bugs are more likely to fail and should be tested thoroughly. Prioritize your test cases. Use this risk assessment to rank your test cases. High-risk areas get more attention, while low-risk areas might only receive minimal testing or be skipped altogether. Optimize test execution. Run the most critical tests first to mitigate risk as quickly as possible. This ensures that any major issues will be caught early, saving time and resources. And last, iterate and refine. Risk isn't static. Continually update your risk assessment based on new data, such as production incidents or user feedback, to keep your regression tests relevant and effective. By focusing on risk, you can reduce the time and effort spent on regression testing while still maintaining high quality standards. So you might be wondering, should you perform manual or automated regression tests? I don't think it's an either or issue, and it all depends once again on going back to the risk analysis you've already hopefully done at this point. And there are pros and cons, but while manual testing offers flexibility, it is often labor intensive. Automated regression tests on the other hand, when done right, enhances efficiency and accuracy, especially for large applications. And there's a bunch of tools you can use to help you with your automation. And once again, I'll have a link for that in the list down below. So once you have your risk plan in place and a tool selected, here are some best practices for effective regression testing. Regularly revise test cases to align with your current software functionality. Prioritize test cases. Focus on areas most susceptible to defects. And also, highly recommend you integrate with your CI CD pipelines to automate regression tests within your development workflows for continuous feedback. Remember, regression testing isn't just a phase in development, it's a commitment to delivering reliability and high quality software. You can safeguard your application against unforeseen issues and enhance your user's satisfaction. Hopefully this quick recap on regression testing has helped. If it did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more insights into software testing, automation, and development. And as always, test everything and keep the good. Cheers.